right, let's do this. Clearly the best opening uh, um, logo ever. Exactly. Like I stated in the previous episode, Marcy, that, that opening, the Troma logo needs to be up there with like, you know, the Columbia Pictures logo, the Warner Brothers logo, the Paramount logo and all that. So it's, I mean, it's just as iconic as those. Yeah. I, I like how it said the subtitle was like non-English speaking. Yeah, boy. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for that. I so never... right away, I could tell this movie would be cancelled if it was made today. Mm. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, knowing Troma, would they really care? No. <laughs> they would just double down. Yeah, knowing their history, no. They, they definitely would not. <laughs> exactly. Okay, these subtitles are like taking up the whole screen again. They're reading off the, they're reading off the subtitles again, Marcy. They are. I've just made it script. slightly smaller, so hopefully I can actually see the screen a little bit. That was the best joke ever in the Titanic episode. <laughs> Yes. The chosen one is on his so, way now. Um, what's that, that dude is burning his hand. Uh, yeah, well, what is the plot of this movie? I don't know. Uh, describe the uh, plot. <laughs> yeah, someone give me a plot. What is it about? So, we get a lovely uh, Kabuki um, prophecy that was just given the information and now we have to find out if the the following of the kabuki will be taken care of and uh it end up stopping the evil one so is and there's okay. nothing more is this, evil than wall street so is that guy shane van dyke from titanic 2 just <laughs> coke on the it car? could be it could be that is a shane van dyke move mm. And these two girls are Lloyd's daughters, by the way. Aww. And now they're dead. <laughs> and now, yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, boobies. <laughs> Booby. And Booby fair. Booby fair. And the funny thing is, is Tubi has this weird. listed as PG thirteen, by the way. <laughs> so why is he Be killing these people? Bead, we need to get you that wig. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so... That is, so I this... swear, I've already... <laughs> Go ahead, Bead, sorry. I was going to say, like, uh, that wig... I I've already made the connection from this movie, and the... Whoa! She goes flying out the window naked, and then, all of a sudden... <laughs> it's a <laughs> boy. And then, bam! <laughs> <laughs> booty fair. <laughs> booty fair. Booty fair. Booty fair. The booty man. Yeah, so the guy that got killed and his family was, they were supposed to be the new Kabuki man. Oh, uh, okay. I see. I see. And uh, why did that guy have like a long wig? Was he really thinking that that guy from Ninja Terminator was his idol? I mean, it's entirely possible. Just he was like, I gotta wear a longer Don't get wig. Me wrong, there are a lot of nice qualities about this town. I think it's the same wig, Marcy. Because remember, in Ninja Terminator, he threw the wig away. <gasps> then we saw in Toxic Avenger <laughs> that some guy had the same exact wig. So I'm going to make yep. the assumption, and the leak from that movie to this one, other than it, you know, being that it's in the same universe because it's a trauma oh, film. Look, the Toxic Avengers is, playing. Is, <laughs> yes, that's cross promotion yeah. at its best, right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, is that uh, that wig somehow got into the hands of this new henchman? Yeah, and it actually had a bit of toxic movie. waste on it, so it grew longer. Also, that guy's hair looked like a uh, hook from uh, AW. Are we sure that's not Hook? It could be. <laughs> is, is Hook Sergeant Kabuki Man? He might be. Yes. I mean, I haven't confirmed it yet. Look at this British guy. <laughs> I don't know how to say Kabuki, so I'm gonna say it like this, mate. Let me shine your shoes. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm a British person, and I'm here interviewing this Klaus Kinski lookalike. Oh Jesus! It does look like Klaus Kinski. Bob. That's right, we did. At the Stuart Pandex Corporation. I'm scared. That was almost Malcolm McDowell's dude. Best way to bring culture to the masses. I'm scared of him and his cut of him. Hello, I'm Malcolm McDowell. Is that 
I myself have been personally interested. I'm entirely positive, but furious. I don't want to look at that man because his eyebrows are scaring me. My revered elder. That looks like what's his name, the guy that was uh, head of the Motion Picture Association for for all those years. <laughs> So who's this? Oh, that, that's one of. Uh, so this is the granddaughter of the Kabuki. So they need someone to and, take over him. For his, yes. Why is he eating worms? And, uh, this is part of the transference. Oh. While he eats worms, he eats cheese. Uh, it's uh, sauerkraut. I don't know what that is. I just assumed I knew what it was. Uh, it's a uh, cabbage. Oh. Um, it's a German. Oh. I thought he I'm just not a fan. was eating cheese or something. I have no idea. By going to the yeah. Theater. It's a tradition that's been going and on we've for lost Bede. The men dress up like women and do some kind of poses in slow motion. I think Bede just they doesn't have internet kind of working noise. today. No. Mm. I had no idea what I was getting into. What I did know was that I had missed another date with Connie LaRosa. So this guy is a bit of a loser, I'm guessing. Yeah. And the play that they're, the Kabuki play that they're doing is actually the odd couple. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm going to try to keep up with this movie. Oh, it totally is. I don't know what's going on. If something has befallen Ichiro... Will you pass the ancient Kabuki powers to me? So he doesn't want to pass the powers to her? No. Women can't be no Kabuki man. The joyous of a patriarchal society. Mm. Oh, and he also is an actor? Yes. Okay. I'm just confused, but I'll pretend I know what's going on. <laughs> Most of the movies we watch for this podcast. It wouldn't be a Tubi Tubi Today podcast if you weren't confused, Marcy. Yes, and it also wouldn't be a podcast if one of us didn't get disconnected. Yes. Because <laughs> we don't edit shit on this show, we just leave it in. We leave it in. Once the movie starts, whatever happens, it's all in the podcast. The train is so, rolling. <laughs> we don't stop for nowhere. So, the character of Kabuki Man was actually based off of the character Kabuki Boy in Toxic Avenger 2, which was which was filmed in Tokyo after Lloyd uh, spent time in Japan promoting the original Toxic uh, Avenger. Okay. Nice. I'm so to tie all those this together. Way. I vaguely remember him being in Japan in the second movie. Mm. Yes. We might have been back. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's back just in time for the fun. Mm. So, wait, it's a real gun. Is he gonna stop murdering people? Oh no! Yeah. Wait, this not old man Kabuki. <laughs> and they're all laughing. Like, okay. Yeah. No worries. The odd cu this version of the odd couple got really dark. It did. It, it, did. And it did. I love how everyone's laughing. Like, hilarious. I didn't expect and oddly, it, it was still better. Mm. It was still better <laughs> version of the odd couple than the one with Matthew Perry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she's kind of dead, man. <laughs> shot, I know the show died at the box office, but this is ridiculous. Oh. It's the same person. We're gonna add that wig to the uh, to be awards this uh, <laughs> year. Yeah, we definitely yes. need best wig. <laughs> How is this report? And, <laughs> and I'm sounding even more British than before. So, Try your shoes, Gather. Is that guy trying to like take the powers or? Yes, okay. he was trying to gain the powers. Right. What the? <laughs> Wait, what? 
So, of course, the art critic has to critique the being mowed down in the process. 